Well, here we are. It's that time of year again, and uh, Caleb is out here with the uh, with the tractor at the moment with the Massey, picking up some bales and uh, putting them on the trailer to bring them home. Every year, you know, while well, the weather's good, well, the time's right. You've got to get the uh, supplies in of food and fodder for the animals, for the cattle, and for the sheep for the winter. And here's Caleb working his turn. He's going to put a bale now on top of that trailer. Preparation. Planning and preparation prevents pretty poor performance. And that's what he's up to here today. While there's the opportunity, while the time is right, he's here picking them up, stacking them on, ready to take them home. Working his way through the box, steady, steady. And there we go. There's a couple of days more feed there for something or other. Uh, probably sheep a couple of days. And preparation is being made while there's time to be ready for we, what we know is coming. Well, we had here last night what might turn out to be the first storm of the winter. Gorfenov is the uh, Welsh word for July. And we're now in August. Gorfenov means summer is over. There's a verse in Jeremiah, one of the Old Testament prophets, and those guys live close to the land and close to the agricultural process. They knew a little bit about what had to happen, about what had to be laid up for the winter. Uh, they were thinking no doubt of grain, uh, as well as uh, some sort of fodder for the animals. But uh, Jeremiah picks up the imagery of getting ready for the winter by laying in foodstuffs and uh, forage for the animals. And there's a verse there that says this. The harvest is past, the summer has ended, and we are not saved. Imagine the depth of that crisis in those times, that there wasn't enough laid by for the winter that was coming. And they knew. They could see what was coming. They had every reason to anticipate fairly accurately what was coming. Climate was pretty stable, perhaps a bit more stable than ours in the ancient Near East. Harvest is past. Summer is ended. We are not saved. Now, let's be absolutely clear about this as the last remnants of this perhaps first storm of the winter died down here and you can perhaps hear the wind and the trees moving still. The man who doesn't prepare for that which is being indicated to him as <coughs> what's coming down the pipe at him, that man is not wise, that man's a fool. Jesus says similar things to this, he says, look, store up for yourselves treasure in heaven. When you make preparation for your future, don't lay aside, you know, things made of steel which rusts or things made of cloth that corrupt, the things that people go after with their, their little bit of surplus money, perhaps. But lay up for yourself treasure in heaven, where thieves don't break in and steal, where rust doesn't corrupt, and moths don't eat what you've laid aside, where you can enjoy the benefits of what you've invested. Life, life is uh, terminal. It will have an ending. We know that. We have every reason to anticipate that. We have every reason to anticipate there won't be a great deal that we can take with us of the things that rust can eat away at, that moths can devour, that thieves can come and steal from us. There won't be, there won't be those things. We'll be gone. Mm, but where will we be gone? Jesus says, store up your treasure in heaven. Invest your life now. You're short, very short, clearly going to end sort of life clearly temporary, invest it now in such a way that when you enter into what he calls heavenly habitations, your heavenly home, there'll be people there to welcome you and you won't be turned away at the door. Prepare now for what comes. How do I prepare? You turn from sin, you trust in Jesus. It's pretty straightforward. Live your life following him, walking in his ways, trusting him for what it is that we need here and then eternally in glory. The harvest is past. The summer has ended. We are not saved. Terrible words, actually. Terrible. To think that proper provision hasn't been made for that which indefinitely lies ahead. If we can help you any more with this, then please get in touch with us. We'd love to be of help. The word for the week will be off the air for a little while through the remaining part of the summer because even guys like me need to take a rest, you know. This isn't a holiday here, this farm in life. Neither is the ministry. Need to take a rest. Time to reflect, time to consider. 
hope you get a rest, hope you get a break, hope you perhaps had a summer break and you've had the opportunity to think, where's this going? Where's this leading? So you don't end up with those who lament their loss in a future time. Harvest passed, summer ended, not yet saved.